The curfew is once again extending hardships on businesses that have already been experiencing them from the pandemic stay at home orders. News Ace Travis Robinson spoke with restaurants about how the curfew and the protests are affecting their shift to phase three. Boards are still up for several city blocks around Monument Circle today as businesses prepare for what could be potentially another destructive weekend. But despite how things look, businesses are still trying their best to stay open. Restaurants in Marion County can finally open to 50% capacity inside, and that was something many businesses were looking forward to. But after last weekend, places like the District Tap had to delay indoor opening plans and put up boards to protect their business. Obviously, the weekend's events really threw a wrench on our plans, but um, you know we're hanging with it and we're doing the best we can and still providing a nice little service for the downtown community so you can come out and get some food and drink and just hang out and have a good time with us. Nothing was damaged last weekend at the District Tap, so they've been sticking to outdoor dining this week to still get business. A couple of blocks away, garden tables boarded up as well, but they're pushing forward with both indoor and outdoor dining. They say they want to show support and start important conversations. We feel like restaurants just have a uh, responsibility to the community to provide that hospitality, and we wanted to provide people a place where they feel welcome, they feel loved, it's an open place. Um, you know, the, the boards are just a precautionary measure by the building owners, um, so we didn't. it didn't change anything inside. We still went ahead with going indoor seating, and our staff actually just asked if they could pin a mural on the one side. Most restaurants I spoke with said the curfew and losing a couple hours really didn't affect them or their business much, but provision all the way up on 86th Street opens at 4 o'clock, which means they're now juggling reservations and only have a couple hours of business before they're forced to close for the night. The first few days we closed down, didn't even open. Uh, this weekend, we plan to to stop taking reservations at 6, and everyone will be out by 7.30 again to give them time to get home safely. It will be a short night for us, but at least we can take great care of some of our guests. Some restaurants say after being out of business for months, they're just trying to survive with any resources they have. The mayor says he doesn't know how long the curfew is going to need to continue. They will only be used when we make the decision that they are necessary. If we also uh, determine that they are not necessary, as obviously we uh, determined over the last couple of nights, uh, a curfews will not be imposed. Places like the District Tap here say that if things go well enough this weekend, they should be able to resume indoor dining starting Monday. I'm Travis Robinson, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.